Welcome to day 7 of our 12 Days of Christmas cards. Today we are going to be using the Merry Christmas Tree Stamp Set. There's two layers here and then also these little ornaments that you can stamp in a different color if you desire. So I am going to be actually using kind of a monochromatic look with this, but I think you're really going to like it. So I have a piece of the vanilla cardstock and also the ruby and we need our stamp set and then I'm using this is the gray wool which is a retired ink but if you look in our current catalog the pewter looks like it would be very similar to the color I'm using today you will also need a piece of scrap paper and we're just going to cut this in half I've drawn a line but you don't have to be that precise you can just eyeball it we basically just want to create a gentle rolling hill to create some snow banks on our card and we will end up using both of those pieces later on so I have my ink in the gray wool again and an ink blending tool and now I'm just going to place my mask on the vanilla card stock there and I'm going to apply the ink. You want to make sure that you start on your mask first and then circle down in a swirling motion onto your cardstock. And it looks like I'm not putting any ink at all onto my vanilla cardstock, but when I take the mask away, you'll see it's just a really soft, subtle look, which is what I'm going for here. It's tempting to be heavy handed, but you can see we have just a nice subtle look right there. So now I'm going to flip this over so my hillside or snowbank is going the opposite direction and I will repeat the process. And I'm not going to go all the way across. I want this to just kind of fade away into the center line there. And then we're going to do it one more time because you have to do things in odd numbers, most of the time anyway. And then again, just repeating that swirling motion with our ink blender. You can do this with sponge daubers and that works well. This is just more comfortable for my hand to hold. So we've created three just kind of subtle snow banks there. And now we're ready to stamp our tree image. So I'm going to use my Misty just because it makes it a little bit easier to line things up. Now I'm using the opposite side of the mask we cut to mask off the bottom of my snow bank so that the tree does not stamp down in that area. And I do find it easier to start with the more full layer of the tree. The ornaments make it easy to line up the second layer when you use this one first. So we've inked it up in the same gray wool ink and it didn't quite get down by the mask so we're going to do that again. Now when I applied my mask to that area I did bump it down just a tiny bit because I know it won't go all the way down to my paper line. So something to keep in mind when you're putting that mask layer down. So now we're stamping the second layer with the same gray wool ink just to kind of fill it in and you can see we remove the mask and it has a perfect little line like it's behind that first snowbank. So I just showed you the Merry Christmas sentiment that is also included in this really pretty stamp set. So I'm going to use that and again using the gray wool ink I'm going to offset that to the right hand corner and that came out beautifully. So we're now ready to mat this on our ruby cardstock and I'm using the darker side of the ruby and you're probably thinking wait you forgot to stamp your ornaments but I haven't I'm going to actually do something a little different so I want to get this attached to the mat and also my card base and now I'm going to use the Christmas red stickles to apply the ornaments instead of stamping them. And when this dries, it's just going to give it this really awesome, sparkly, shiny, red Christmas ornament look. 
And of course, no card is complete without a little clear shimmer brush. So we're going to apply a layer along the tops of our snow banks here. And this card is a very simple card, but it's a very elegant card. And I have all my cards set up on my mantle just to kind of, you know, for more inspiration while I'm creating the, this series. And I really like this card. It just catches my eye. It just is simple and just elegant. And I love the sparkle and shine and the monochromatic look of the landscape. Gina K Designs did a card similar to this years ago and that is what inspired me to try it with this current stamp set and I'm so happy I did because like I said I think it's just beautiful I love the way it turned out. If you like this video give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already please consider subscribing. I'll be uploading a new Christmas card video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for the month of November. So stay tuned. Wednesday, I have a really fun Christmas shaker card that I'm excited to share with you guys. It might be my favorite card of the series. I'm not sure yet. For more detailed information on this project and all the projects I've created, you can visit my blog at craftyconceptswitherin.com. Thank you so much for watching. Here's a few more videos you might enjoy, and I'll see you next time.